Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, and today I'm doing my best Willie Nelson because I'm on the road again. If you've been tracking along with the show, you know the story. I've gone to Knoxville, Tennessee, there in the Blue Ridge Mountains. My mom just said that uh, Knoxville's not in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Maybe it's Appalachians? The Smokies. We're going to call them the Smokies. And I've uh, grabbed up Mama Bear, and we're moving her to Florida. And the way we're doing that is via a 15-foot U-Haul truck. And in case you've never driven a 15-foot U-Haul truck, well, they I think they regulate those. Those don't go 70 miles per hour. And so even though the GPS says it's a 10-hour trip from her house to our house, well, it, it takes a little bit longer than that. Uh, we, we gave up at nine hours yesterday. It started to get dark, and we drove, and we ended up here in Valdosta, Georgia, and we stayed at a La Quinta Inn. And the reason we stayed out of La Quinta Inn is because we're traveling with the dude. Well, you know, not that dude. This dude. We're traveling with the dude. And uh, it's been a great experience. They charge you $20 more to have a dog. And uh, But, yeah, we're getting ready to get on the road. But I want to pop in real quick with a short cruise news story about this Carnival Cruise passenger that got banned for life for trying to bring a sleep aid on board. Now, I've used sleep aids before, and I've used sleep aids in the form of gummies, uh, melatonin. Uh, those things knock me right on my butt. If I eat two of those gummies, I but I, I don't stay asleep, so I don't really use them much. My, my drug of choice for sleep is a mechanical drug, the CPAP machine. But uh, this lady who went to go on a carnival cruise out of Miami, her sleep drug of choice, it's not melatonin, it's CBD. Carnival says it ain't right. It's CBD. They banned her for life. It's another CBD story. This is a... A woman from Texas, mother of two, 42-year-old, she tried to get on board with her normal sleep aid, which happens to be CBD, and while well, they pulled her out of line, they questioned her, they took her out of her, and they kicked her off the cruise ship, the $5,000 cruise for her family, they kept all the money, they sent her a letter saying, look, you violated the very well-established and posted things you can't bring on a cruise ship policy. Now, I'm not sure why they're banning her for life, and maybe it's, you know, this is something they're doing to crack down to really discourage people from doing this. But this is the second case that we've talked about probably in the last three or four months. I talked about another couple that got pulled out of line. I don't know that they got banned for life, but they got pulled out of line for bringing CBD on board. And, of course, uh, there's drug dogs now for Carnival because they're cracking down on people bringing uh, marijuana on board. And so it's, uh, you know, I, I, it, it's a balancing act, right? Carnival clearly establishes the rules. They're working really hard to enforce these rules because they want to make sure that, you know, they're providing the experience that they want to provide. And uh, it's another cautionary tale that before you go cruising, you need to check and make sure uh, that what you're bringing is not prohibited because you could get in trouble. I had a wild situation. I flew Allegiant for the first time. I flew out of the St. Pete Airport. And uh, recently I've been watching all these everyday carry videos. Like if you want to go down a rabbit hole on YouTube, watch these everyday carries. And so for the first time in my life, I started carrying a pocket knife. I've got a small Swiss Army knife. And I also have this uh, deconstructed Swiss Army knife. Let me show you this. It's in my wallet. This is pretty wild. Swiss Army knife that fits in your wallet, and it's got a blade in it. Where's the blade? It's got a blade in it. This blade here. And then I have a tiny Swiss Army knife that was in my bag, and uh, I didn't get stopped at security. So I don't know if there's a blade length for the airport, but I forgot about them. So I guess if you're a new person to carrying blades, uh, caution. But I, I don't know. I, I didn't lose my knives, which is weird. But this thing's great. I, I've used this. I, I was like, I don't, I don't need a tool. I don't need a knife. I've used several things out of this since I've got it, including the blade and the scissors and the, all the stuff. But, uh, okay, there you go. I got to get on the road. We got to get down to Florida. We got to get this truck unloaded. Uh, we got to get mom to her new spot, which we're calling the, the, the Twin Palms, which is a, a beautiful name. And, uh, yeah. Remember, the dude abides. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Oh, there he is. Oh, thank you, dude, for making an appearance without me having to grab you. Uh, Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Cruise news.